I am not African because I was born in Africa, but because Africa was born in me. Are you proud to be an African? I am proud to be an African. Guess where we are today? We are at the Dr. Kwame Nkrumah Museum here in Accra, Ghana. Who is actually Dr. Kwame Nkrumah? Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was the first Prime Minister and President of Ghana, having led the Gold Coast to independence in 1957. He was part of the organization of African Unite. Let's go around as I show you the museum here in Accra, Ghana. The statue made of bronze of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And uh, we have the statue placed right here at the exact location or the spot where Nkrumah stood to declare independence for the people of Ghana in 1957. Now during that time, the British were still around and the entire park you see here was a polo field where they played the game of polo. Okay. So the sad part is that black people were not allowed to come in here. Black people were not allowed to come in here. It was only the prison for the white British who were here to play uh, they are following and to enjoy their time. So when Ghana also gained her independence, this is the same location Kuma chose to also declare freedom. This is the very forbidden place. It's where he selected to also speak of freedom to his people. On the tomb, because uh, Monday was in Kuma's birthday, 21st September. And uh, you remember it's a, it's a holiday here as well. So his party members came by also honor his memory by giving away his love as well. So we are inside the facility known as the mausoleum. Okay, and this is where Kromer's body has been laid to rest for the third time. I initially explained that one inside the museum that firstly he was buried in Guinea before uh, based on the request of his mother he was exhumed and taken to his village for the second time and after 20 years after the facility was also completed somewhere in 92, his remains was also brought out here to be kept in here for the third and hopefully final time. So if you look at this side here, we can see his name boldly displayed there, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, 1909 to 1972. He lived for only 63 years and he managed to do while he was alive. He realized that for such a young age, he was able to do a lot for his people having to fight uh, British colonial rule to also emancipate his people into freedom and then to lead them as the first prime minister and as the first president of the new nation of Ghana. All right, so we have his wife, uh, Madame Fatia and Kuma also buried alongside him. That will be moving there shortly to us. Actually, by the grave of Madame Fatia Nkoma, Nkoma's uh, wife, Dr. Kwame Nkoma's wife, and as she died in 2007, she died in Egypt actually, but she's also here because of a wish she made um, in her sick bed right before her children. She also made a wish that she would like to be buried next to her husband. So the family also made sure that those wishes of hers also fulfilled her body was brought down here to be buried next to her husband Dr. Kwame So she died at the age of 75. Okay if you step a little closer to uh, the grave you can see the names of her children also inscribed in the we see Gamal we see Samia in the center and we see Siku on the last side as well. So we have our mother the spirit of Pan-Africanism, we have Amal, Samia, and Sikh, also inscribed on the tomb.